Hey, thanks for tuning in to Twang and Bang. This is the second of a two-part video about the medical kits offered by DB Arms. The first part showed you the big Yasha pack meant for relatively stationary use. If you missed it, the link to that video can be found in the video description and it provides some good background to DB Arms and what they offer. This part focuses on the smaller Rafa pack intended for when you need your medical gear to be a lot more mobile. This is our smaller bag and it weighs 14 pounds. It wears nice and easy. Again, we can get multiple colors. Right off the bat, on the outside is a strap cutter, which is important. And you can use that to cut seat belts all the way down to just cut, cutting clothes off somebody. It'll go right through a belt. It follows the same principles of the larger bag, just it's just on a smaller scale. So you have, of course, your bleeding and airway and fractures, but you also have sutures, you also have blisters, burns, rehydration stuff, you have a little bit of minor pain management and first aid, ointments, and you have your tools. So we'll go into all this. Here's an extraction strap like before. And inside your bleeding, your trauma stuff, two cat tourniquets, headlight, trauma shears, Z-pack gauze, Z-fold gauze, two four inch, one six inch Israeli pressure dressings, some Curlix, compressed gauze, two cravats, Cellox plunger and Cellox powder. Uh, marker, mainly for marking your tourniquets, time on your tourniquets, and gloves. Going on to airway, your oral airway kits, Again, adult to infant size. Two nasal pharyngeals, different sizes with lube. Two needle decompression kits. Boylan chest seal. Hyphen chest seal twin pack. H&H &H chest seal. And occlusive dressings with tape, which you can use to make chest seals. I have a bronchial dilator. Pen light. Again, lights and gloves in different parts of the bag. CPR chest, uh, CPR face shield. It's, it's pretty much the same suture kit as the other one, except it doesn't have the staples, the stapler and the staple remover. But you still have the same suture kit with all your needle drivers, forceps, uh, scalpels, scalpel blades in here, four sutures. 3-0 and, and 4-0 sutures. Wound cleaning, sponge and some sterile wash. Iodine, gloves, sterile, sterile drapes for trying to keep the, the, the wound as clean as possible. And everything you need to clean the tools, the wound, the area around the wound. And in here there's a lot of good stuff. There's, there's razors for prepping the area. There's there's iodine, there's chloroprep swabs, there's bleach swabs, there's Vinex swabs. You also have your Steri strips and Benzoin, which is in this pack. And you have additional disposable scalpels in here. One SAM splint. And in the fractures, the fractures pouch, one, one three inch and one four inch ace, ace bandage and Scoflex, two finger SAM splints. It blisters and burns and rehydration. We have a water gel, two uh, medium water gel burn dressings, some tape. This will help with the blisters, with the blisto band and your moleskin. And for rehydration, there's water purification tablets and two o ORS packets. In minor pain management and ointments, there's a lot of stuff in here. We have uh, hydrocortisone cream, antifungal cream, cough medicine, uh, bl Blistex lip balm, itch relief, bugs, bugs bite spray, neosporin, ibuprofen, and band-aids. Large band-aids, small band-aids, finger band-aids, there's Tegaderm film in here. And for the tools, Again, a lot of stuff in this little pack. Uh, survival emergency blanket, hearing protection, 
Spare batteries, both AA and AAA. 550 cord, Leatherman multi-tool, signal mirror, lighter, caffeine gum. I forgot to mention there's also caffeine gum in, in this pack. Uh, right in the rain notebook, nail clippers, and a can opener. This here is a diffuser because on the side there's still uh, the Phoenix light with a red lens if you're in a tactical environment. If, you're, if not, it just pops off real easy and can also be used as the lamp. And not, last but not least, a red pen and a black pen. It's always important. And there are reference materials in here. There's the Maxwell Quick Reference Guide. There's the Trauma Quick Reference Guide. There's the Sam Splint and Sam Splint Pictorial. And the Combat um, Casualty Care for tracking casualties and stuff like that. So it covers the same topics as a larger bag, but it's just scaled down. You don't have as much of the trauma stuff. You don't have as much of the airway. You don't have as much of the suturing and burn care and a lot of the tools. You don't have as much of the ointments and things like that. But like I said before, it's all a compromise. It's what do you need? What do you need for your family or for, for your fire team, your, your guys that you work with? This is way more mobile. It's much more mobile and that's the advantage of that. One of the things I noticed in editing out some of the dead air in these videos to save your time is that the Rafa forgoes a lot of organization of the various pieces that the Yasha provides. This certainly helps the Rafa kit to save weight and bulk, but know that you'll spend more time digging around to get at what you want with the Rafa than with the larger Yasha. That said, it is easier to find the compartment you want to be in because the Rafa is easier to label than the Yasha. Regardless, you should spend a lot of time familiarizing yourself with your med kit, whether you go with the Rafa or the Yasha or something else entirely. As you can imagine, for kits this comprehensive, the price is pretty high. It's $1,700 for the big pack, and it's about $1,100 for the small pack. But there are a couple things about how DB Arms does the pricing that I think are pretty cool. Number one, you're spending the money for the, the med gear itself and not the packs. These are pretty basic Black Hawk tactical packs, and they're designed to be, be mobile. You can pack this around all day. This is really just to get around from your house to your truck to your cabin or whatever. Uh, but if you thought you were going to be in the field for an extended period of time wanting to carry this stuff around all the time and make sure that the pack was up to the task, they have more expensive packs that are available. They just didn't want people to spend money in places where they didn't have to. The second thing is they're, they're convinced that you're not gonna be able to go off and piecemeal, put together exactly the same packs uh, as an individual. If you don't have access to wholesale pricing, you're just not gonna be able to do it. But say you do have access to wholesale pricing or you don't have the budget to do this all at once and you want to put it together a bit at a time. They put the complete list of the contents for both of these packs on their website because they feel it's more important that they're helping people get prepared than it is that they make a sale. And honestly, this is, this is more than words from them. It is absolutely their philosophy. They would love this to be a successful business, but for them, the success is going to be getting a lot of people prepared more so than actually being something that they can rely upon as a source of income. If you want to learn more about the great packs from DB Arms, be sure to click the link in the video description below. Be sure to follow me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash twangandbang.net, spelled out D-O-T-N-E-T, -E to see more pictures and videos of the kinds of things that I'm doing in between the videos you see on YouTube in Full 30. And be sure to click right here to subscribe so you can catch my next videos on bows, guns, and other cool stuff like these great med kits. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.